It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Edward was pulling into Nafford Station, where the other engines were already gathered. The engines were talking and getting along, when Emily snuck up behind Edward and shunted him. Emily, why did you do that? Happy St. Patrick's Day, Edward! Is it St. Patrick's Day already? But Emily, why did you shunt him? Edward wasn't wearing green. And any engine that isn't wearing green on St. Patrick's Day gets shunted. I completely forgot about that old tradition. That was a lot of fun. Huh. It may be fun for you, Henry, but it wasn't so fun for the rest of us. Oh, I'm sure Emily didn't mean any harm. And I know she didn't. I'm sure it's all meant in good fun. Well, I'm much too splendid to get any green on my coat of paint. And off James went to go about his daily chores. Well, I'll play along with you guys. I'll just make sure to stay out of the way of any green engines for the rest of the day. And Henry and I will let the rest of the green engines know that we can lightly shut the engines that aren't wearing green today. I'm sure we can all learn to have fun on St. Patrick's Day. So off the engines went on their branch lines. Wow, Edward, are you okay? Of course, Thomas. It's all in the name of good fun. Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, Diesel 10 was gathering with the rest of the green diesels. Well, well, well. It's St. Patrick's Day again, and we all know what that means. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, it means that we must go out and find every engine that isn't wearing green. What do we do then, boss? Why, we pinch them, of course. All the green diesels agreed that that was a very good idea. And the diesels all went their separate ways to cause confusion and delay all over the island of Sodor. Meanwhile, Stanley was riding the rails, looking for his friends. He was on top of a bridge when suddenly, Diesel Ted knocked over the bridge he was on. What happened? Welcome, Stanley. It's St. Patrick's Day, and you're not wearing green, so you've got pinched. I don't understand. Silly, Steamy. And off Diesel 10 went to cause more mischief. Meanwhile, Toby was pulling Henrietta, when suddenly, Paxton, why did you do that? Sorry, Toby, you're not wearing green. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And off Paxton went to cause more mischief. Molly was pulling an oil tanker car. Oh! Iron Airy, Iron Bert, why did you do that? You're not wearing green, Molly. So you had to get pinched. That'll teach ya. D199 was climbing Gordon's Hill when suddenly D261, why? Because we are underused characters that are requested a lot. <laughs> really? That's why? No, it's because you're not wearing green and it's St. Patrick's Day. Stafford was chuffing along quietly. Let me guess, St. Patrick's Day and I'm not wearing green, right? How'd you know? I read the script. Spencer was speeding along the rails, when suddenly... What happened? Consider yourself pinched, Spencer. Just then, James pulled up to the scene of the accident. Spencer, are you okay? I saw the whole thing. I'm shocked. Diesel 10, why did you do that? Hello, James. Looking as splendid as always, I see. But you're not wearing any green. I knew this game was going to be nothing but trouble. And James hurried off. 
with Diesel 10 chasing him. James pulled up to the turntable where Thomas was already waiting. My James, you sure are puffing hard. Just then, Diesel 10 pulled up. James's load of paint went flying and Thomas and James were covered with paint as Diesel 10 pulled up. Well, I suppose I can't pinch you now. And off he oiled away. Soon, Gordon pulled up to where James and Thomas had derailed. James! Thomas! What happened to you? It's Diesel 10! He's derailing engines that aren't green! Oh! Well, I'm not intimidated by Diesel 10! And off Gordon went to find Diesel 10 and put it. Soon, Gordon had found where Diesel 10 was. Diesel 10! You have caused confusion and delay on the island. I shall take great pleasure in derailing you. Oh, I'm not intimidated by you, Diesel 10. Oh, I'm still not concerned. Starting to get a little worried. Hello, Gordon. <laughs> Even you, little Philip? I beat you in a race once. Oh, the outrage. And off Gordon sped as fast as he could, while the other Diesel soon gave chase. Gordon raced as fast as he could. Gordon made it all the way to the Sodor Paint Company where they started to paint him green. Very lucky, Gordon. I suppose we can't pinch him now that he's green. Just then Salty pulled up to see what all the commotion was about. Ho-ho, me mateys, how are you? There are sure a lot of diesels here today. Oh, Salty! You're not wearing any green. No, me matey. Green is the wrong color for a dockside diesel like me. Well then, prepare to be pinched. Oh, me mateys, why? So long, salty. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Soon Oliver and Toad happened by. Look, Mr. Oliver, a whale! That's not a whale, Toad, that's Salty. Salty, what happened to you? Yar! It's St. Patrick's Day and I wasn't wearing green, me hearty. A gang of diesels derailed me. Diesel 10, I should have known. You stay there, Salty, we'll go get help. Yar, it's not like I'm gonna go anywhere. So off Oliver and Toad went to find help for Salty. Soon, Sam arrived with the breakdown train. They lifted Salty onto the flatbed. I can't take you to the diesel works, Salty. Diesel 10 and the other green diesels might be there. I'll have to take you to the steamworks instead. And off Sam went, taking Salty to the steamworks. Soon, Sam arrived at the steamworks. Aye, caramba! Salty, what happened to you? Yar! I need a little help getting ship shape and sea worthy, Captain. More of Diesel 10's mischief, I see. I've been dealing with Diesel 10's antics all day long. Don't worry, Salty. I know just what to do. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. We've used this reference before.
Yes, yes! How do you feel, my friend? Yar! Ready to take on the world, matey! Good! Now, I need you to put a stop to Diesel 10. The Steamworks can't hold any more broke down engines. Aye aye, Captain. I can't wait to find Diesel 10. Soon, Salty made his way down to the docks, where Diesel 10 and his mischievous diesels were waiting. Salty, is that you? You're all green and ready to pinch back. Be prepared, Diesel 10. <laughs> then there was trouble. Whoa, Salty, what was that about? But Salty, now you're green like us. Hey, what's happening? You may have gotten those other diesels, but I'm too big and powerful for you, Salty. Ooh. Then something very interesting happened. Whoa! Oh, what's your going to do for me? Oh! Yar, thanks, Cranky. Sure thing, Salty. Yikes, I'm out of here! And with that, Diesel 10 sped off. And Green Salty gave chase. Diesel 10 drove all the way to the sawmill with Salty in hot pursuit. Yar, end of the line for you, Diesel 10. You haven't got me yet, Salty. As Diesel 10 extended Pinchy, something strange happened. What's happening? What's happening? And soon Diesel 10 was facing the saw blade. Oh, Pinchy. Yar, that serves you right, Diesel 10. I'm sure it'll be a long time before you're pinching engines again. Later on at Napford Station. Well, that was quite the St. Patrick's Day adventure. I'm just glad to have my splendid coat of paint back. I'm sure there's a lesson to be learned in all of this. How about bullies always get what's coming to them in the end? Or maybe it doesn't matter what color your coat of paint is. It's what's inside your boiler that counts. Unless you're splendid and red, of course. There's one thing I just don't understand, though. What's that, Edward? Is it still okay to lightly pinch other engines on St. Patrick's Day? Wow, Edward, are you okay? Yar, you weren't wearing green, matey. Oh, that's okay. As long as it's all in the name of good fun. Thanks for watching Kiss Arts Play. Don't forget to, to subscribe.